Experience rating modifications, or mods, are typically produced 90 days prior to the rating effective date. Mods may be revised for several reasons. Here are the most common reasons. Since mods are produced usually 90 days in advance, they may be produced prior to a state approving a new rate filing or updating the rating values for a mod's effective date. This is a preliminary mod. Once the new rates have been approved, the updated values are used in the calculation and the mod is revised. This is a final mod. Even though a mod is final per state approved rating values, it may still be revised. Another common reason for a mod to be revised is when a carrier submits corrected payroll and or loss information. The mod would be revised to include this corrected information. The following are some less common reasons for a mod to be revised. When certain ownership changes in a business occur, the mod may be revised as a result of the change. Additionally, if all payroll and or loss information for the rating is not received from the carrier, a contingent mod is produced. When the missing information is received, the mod will be revised. Finally, when an employer exits a Professional Employer Organization, or PEO, the PEO's mod may be revised. The revision is to transfer the experience to the employer's mod. This varies based on the state-specific rules. Revisions to mods are a priority for NCCI to ensure the most recent mod information is available to system stakeholders. If you want to learn more, see the links below for free learning material on additional experience rating topics. Thank you for watching this video.